everyone. We're going to be going to the hunting grounds where Dick Cheney shot, who was it? I don't know, he I'm, shot somebody. I don't know who it was. But <laughs> I'm with Brand from Colton Mortgage. We're going to go on a pleasant hunt on this episode of Taking Off. Hey everybody, I'm Dan Milliken. This is Brand with Colton Mortgage. We've got John, uh, IT head at Colton Mortgage in the back seat. And we're going to be flying from Colorado Centennial to South Dakota in the middle of nowhere to go to a hunting lodge where they do world-class pheasant hunting. And that's the great thing about general aviation is that you can hop in a plane and do something like this. So uh, we'll catch up more with you once we're near. What do you know about Lena Peak? Uh, not much. Okay, so I know on my um, my JPI EDM, um, I can actually uh, adjust the the deal here to to give me very very specific icicles and different things to show me exactly where I'm going to go Lena Peak. Yep. But uh, you can also do it by feel and by engine. Um, one method is called the big pull is to pull your mixture back and back and back until you feel it, until you feel a loss of, of thrust. Okay. Then uh, from there we'll start to adjust. Now, before we do that, let's talk about what we're going to see. So, do you understand what peak is and what it means to be lean and what it means to be rich and and what how peak is defined? Well, my understanding is, uh, well, and starting from the temperatures, again, I've, I've always been uh, told and indicated that you should run at 385 or less on your highest cylinder. Five has always been my highest cylinder. And then my turbo inlet temperature, uh, you know, max around 1550. Right, exactly. Um, and I typically see when I run that I'm around the 1400, 1450 mark. Uh, like now I'm, I'm indicating, you know, 18.2 and I'm at... 386 so if I give it a little bit or back off just a hair to get it to that 2350 RPM almost at 70% 69 right now oh and wow I don't get that I don't get that on mine oops I don't know what it is but um, I like that I need yeah, to yeah so see right here you can see that 69 okay, so, yeah so 32 okay. here would be probably about 75% okay yep all right and good. I've got Cow flaps about half, half. Oh, way. oh my! So you don't close your cow flaps? Uh, you know, in Colorado, when it's this warm, I, I, I don't close them all the way. Typically, I'll run about half. I can, I can do that. I'll uh, run Texas in August with cow flaps closed. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I just closed them there, so now I'm going up to 386. And what's our speed? And our, our trio speed is 160. 160. So the yep. same. You should normally get a couple of knots faster by closing those flaps. Now I'm at 18.8 uh, fuel flow. So you rich enough to keep your temperatures down. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I don't. I normally will cruise with out flaps closed even in the summer. Yeah, so. in, the, in the summer, I almost exclusively cruise with them open. Wow, okay. Well, I'll, need that's, to, I'll need to ask about that. Typically, though. probably, at, you know, 90 to 95 degrees. Uh, I mean, at, at the flight, you know, altitudes that I'm flying at, um, you know, is probably on average of, of 8,500 to 10,000, somewhere in that range, you know, unless we're in the mountains. So you got a turbo and you fly it? At 8,500 to 10,000? I'm saying right around the Centennial area. Okay, yeah. right. Yeah. But if I'm in the mountains, obviously, we're... If we're, you're going over to Tennessee or something, what do you fly at? Oh, yeah. There, I'm, I'm typically fly, flying somewhere between, you know, 11 and 15,000, you know. Okay, it just, just kind of depends on winds. Right, right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so now let's talk Lena Peak. So, layman's kind of concept, not an a and P's explanation you're you're dealing with you know mixture versus air versus fuel and the the more fuel the, it, the richer it is the less fuel the leaner it is what happens is is that you reach a point 
where m more fuel will cool off the cylinder because of the, the temperature of the fuel itself. As you pull the fuel back, your engine heats up, right? Right. But it's at a point, at peak, when you keep going past that, pulling the fuel back and it has more air, you go back to cooling the engine. Yep. That you lose uh, some of your, your um, horsepower. So you will lose a little bit of airspeed. Yep. So to know when that now you could I don't know your I don't know your engine monitor so I don't know how to pull up the Lena Peak settings. But let's just do it with, with the big pull. And what you want to do is pull. Uh, you want me to do it first? Sure. All right. Um, here, hold this. At just aim it at the zone. Okay. So we're coming along here, and we're gonna pull our mixture back. Until we feel it, Parking. until we feel light in the seat. There it goes. Yep. Okay, I'm going to roll back in just a little bit. Then you see, feel this go again. Yep. All right. So that told me kind of where, in a really quick, easy way, that's where peak is, right? But now I'm going to watch my temperatures. Our hottest temperature is 385 right now, 386. So I'm going to roll back. We're going to lose some horsepower. Temperatures are rising right now. Look at that. Okay, so I'm still on the rich side of peak. Now I'm going to keep rolling back. I'm, all I've been doing is put, now, look, temperatures are going down. So I've gone past peak, and I'm on the lean side. And now temperatures are coming back down, but we've lost, we're down at 153 true airspeed. So we've yep. lost seven knots. Yep. Now, look at your um, your fuel flow, 11, from 18 to 19 that we were at moments ago. Yep. So, but you're also going to take longer getting there. And a lot of people, and this is why there's a big fight on uh, Lena Peak versus Richard Peak, some people feel you're doing damage to your cylinders and to your engine by doing it this way. But right now we are running Lena Peak. Now we're um, we're dropping. Yep. So what I like to do to fine tune it is I want to add a little bit more throttle. Which, see, we're already down like we've lost 13 knots now. Yep. All right. I'm, I'm not throttle. I'm sorry. I'm going to add throttle. a little bit mixture. Okay. And notice too that when you did this, our manifold did come down. And you can add a lot more uh, manifold just to get yourself more speed. And we can do that and balance it. So if we were to go ahead and add. I go and for pressure, now I'm going back up to 30. Our temperatures, are oh, you feel the engine? Yep. So we're a little too... Running a little rough. Yeah, we're a little too lean. There it goes, you can feel it kick in. Now you see the temperatures rising again. And I would I would let it rise and get up. Uh, now I'm 32 on manifold. So let's pull it back to here because we're at, well, it's still only 68%. Yeah. Um, Anyway, that's what you do. You play with it and and get yourself where you like it. You know, we're at 13.8 right now. That's that's not great. It, anyway, um, I'll tell you this. I'm breaking in my new engine. I'm not going Lena Peak yeah. at all right now. For the first couple of hundred hours, I'm not going to mess with it. And really, the only times I've ever really done Lena Peak is, uh, you know, when I'm doing a, a five-hour leg and, you know, or, or something like that. And, and I just want to make sure I have plenty of fuel left at the end or something. That's the only time. And I have time. And I got the winds behind me. Yep. You know, things like that. That's when I'll do it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and richen up. Feel that grab. Yep. And um, pull you back just a hair. And get you set. Now, um, so I'm, gonna, I'm putting you back where you were. We're at 20 right now. So I probably made you a little bit. Well, it's because we're, yeah, we're at 76. I'm going to pull back. Percent power. Yeah, there we go. All right, so now we're back closer to where you were. Well, you're at 69, but okay, there we go. So we're at 19 on a few floor. So now you try to do Lena V. All right, so let me set this here right at about 69 or 70. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate mail from this <laughs> Lena Peak explanation, <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Gettysburg, three profit Charlie short, final one, three full stop, Gettysburg. All right. Everybody, we have landed Gettysburg, South Dakota. We're going to go pheasant hunting.
okay for me. I'm not worried about the bag limit. Not gonna be an issue today. Andy, meanwhile, though, you might need to take some of mine. I, I will think. be glad to pick up your slack, sir. Yeah. Glad to oblige. Thank you. Okay, Brant, I noticed uh, you only grabbed a few shells. Like, so the, the back limit's five. You grabbed like six shells. Six, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then then you have 25. people like Andy who grabbed four. <laughs> The dogs are absolutely amazing. Chewy is not ready for this. Plus, the Newfoundland's not really a retriever like these labs are. So, and there's a spaniel out here as well. Dogs are amazing. As I understand it, the object is to uh, just the make the bird fly away. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. I'm crushing it. I knocked two down, but uh, I, I missed a lot more than I hit. <laughs> oh. This is a good eating bird right here. Now this one on the other hand, well not that one, that one. Oh. So I'm not a big hunter. I've hunted some. I've never hunted pheasant, just quail for birds down in Texas. We don't really have a really large uh, pheasant population like they have here in South Dakota. Can you miss again for me? I didn't get it on the last take. Try it, try it. I appreciate that. <laughs> that time I got it. You got that on film. I You guys have some pretty fierce hunting dogs. <laughs> Put the gun tight to your shoulder. Okay. And then what? Pull the trigger. We're going to try to get our groove back on going through the uh, sorghum field this time. Holy cow, the wind has picked up off the lake here. It's freaking cold. We've got a little bit more hunting to do. Woo! We're having an incredible time out here. It's, it's wonderful what GA, General Aviation, can do where you can fly to these remote areas of the country and just relax and really enjoy things. That's a hard thing for me to do, but really enjoyed uh, getting to know Brant and John and of course uh, Andy and Kevin. Uh, we make a good pheasant hunting team.
Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, leave me comments if you fly for GA to fun areas. I'd like to know more. And uh, we'll see you guys later on taking off. Take care.